classic candy. Oh, all right. Well, in case you don't know who I am, my name is the food processor. And people love my food because it tastes so really good. And I'm here to get three ingredients today for a new recipe that I'm making. So I am going to look around. Oh my goodness, though. I, I, we all have the. Okay, there's a cake mix. I got Okay, I got a cake mix. Oh, there's some chocolatey looking things. I'll take that too. And oh, oh, I moved that again. Oh, I got some Christmas peppermint. And oh, this is like from Halloween. I'm gonna put some lollipops and some cookies. Yeah, that looks good too. I think I, think I got it. Oh, these look like they're left over from Valentine's Day, so I have some of them. Oh my gosh, there's some Rice Krispie treats. I can't live without those in my recipe. And what seems oh, to be going on? Oh my gosh! What seems to be going uh, on? You have a shop at the candy store? How did you even know where to find me? How did you turn our entrance <laughs> You into just shop store? wherever I am. Yeah, well, you know. Even if it says no trespassing. But I'm written in the script. So which it doesn't today, it. but. <laughs> well, I I anyway. had to get. Uh, just, uh, I had to get a couple of ingredients for my new recipe. Well, candy store. I think you forgot a few ingredients to this recipe you're talking about. What do you mean? I have what I need. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what Zachary would need, but that's not what you need to actually make a recipe. Oh, there's some Oreo You know what goes too. along with this part of the Lord's <laughs> Prayer we were talking about today? It says, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oh, no, everything fell. <laughs> what do you mean? I was not tempted. I you was know. just getting this three little ingredients right here. Do you know that God, was all I need. Do you know God I got him. Do you know God will help us overcome temptations if we ask for his guidance so we can overcome them? So it's okay, food processor. This actually goes along with the part of the Lord's Prayer that we're trying to learn this week. Of course it does. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, right? Now, candy is great, and you might be wanting to go after it, but would you steal a piece of candy from someone if you needed it so bad? That's not what you do, right? And so we don't want to do those things. If we wanted a candy bar so bad, we just have to, you know, do something to earn it, but we probably should maybe stay away from it. It's something we're not supposed to do. If we ask God to change our hearts and lead us away from the behavior that we're, that we're not supposed to be doing, He will surely help us to make better decisions. Now let's say the word Lord's Prayer and see what Sarah has to add. Let's read the Lord's Prayer together and pray it together as a sign of what we've learned and what we have yet to learn. Ready? That was a lot of words. Are you trying to say that I was tempted? Yes, and we're going to read the prayer now. By all that food is now on the floor. And then Sarah's going to come in and tell us more about what we're trying to learn today. With okay, right. I'm ready to do it with you this week. All right. Our Father, Our Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. Lead us He's not in temptation, <laughs> but deliver us from evil. For the that is the kingdom, kingdom and the, the power, and, and the glory forever. forever. Amen. So let's go see what Sarah has to say about this prayer. I can't wait to find out, because I don't know what I did wrong this time. I was dedicated. It is wise to try and stay away from things that tempt us. If you know that you shouldn't eat candy, but you decide to walk into that candy store, I have a feeling you'll be walking out of there with some candy. And if you see your favorite candy bar sitting in front of you, but you know it belongs to someone else, can you resist the temptation to eat it before you ask that person? I think I might have eaten somebody else's candy at one point. In Psalm 141, verse 4, David prays, Do not let my heart be drawn to what is evil, so that I take part in wicked deeds along with those who are evildoers. Do not let me eat their delicacies. David's not really talking about candy, but he's asking God to protect his heart from temptation. He doesn't want to be tempted into doing things that he feels is wrong. 
So protect your heart. Don't watch TV shows that you don't think God would want you to be watching. Ones that maybe swear, or bad say, say bad things. Don't listen to music that does the same thing. We need to protect our hearts and ask God to help us do that. And there are so many more ways to do that than what I listed. God is our deliverer and we are wise to seek his power over sin and he will help us to overcome all temptation. Oh, and the food processor!